Nathan here, and we are back with these Cisco C9300 24UX. And what I want to show you in this video is the stack-wise power stacking and the stack-wise data stacking. So I'm going to flip these puppies around, and we're going to get our cables. Now each one came with our stacking cable. This guy is our power stack cable. And then this guy is our data stack cable. And you'll see, you'll notice the data stack cables uh, pretty much the same on both sides. Uh, you can't go upside down. They have a, um, a module uh, input there, so you can only go one way. The power stack do have colors. They have a green and a yellow. You can actually get like a power bay, and it's an XPS distribution. And in that case, your yellow would go there and your green would always go in your switch. We're not doing that here. We're going switch to switch for redundancy. Uh, so let's uh, connect these guys in. So you'll see on the back here of these two 9300 switches. So we'll go green in the top. And then we'll come down and we'll go in the bottom. And then we'll take our second power. And we'll go green in the top. And we'll go yellow in the bottom. There we go. That is our stack wise power. And then we'll go with our data. Like I said, they'll only go one way. Data in. Data in. And we'll go with our last set of data. Data in, and data in. And of course you'd want to screw those down and make sure they don't accidentally come unplugged. So in this case, we have redundant, we have redundant power here. Normally you would not need your redundant stack-wise if you're going to have redundant power in your power supplies. This is a typical switch configuration, and in this case, with your power stack, if you lost a power supply or you lost a power feed, that's probably more likely to your switch. This switch is still going to operate because it's going to be pulling power from your bottom switch. And in our case of our data, these, back, these stack wise uh, um, back planes support 480 gigabit. 480. That's about almost half a tera terabit connectivity. There's some high power there. Now with multiple switches, again, you can have four stack-wise power. You can have up to eight stack-wise data. When you have multiples and you loop these down, you'll have a redundancy within your data. In this case here, we have this connectivity. So we have 480 gig between our two switches. So that'll give you a nice uh, overview of how the stack-wise power and data works with our C9300 Cisco switches. Hope you enjoyed the video. Happy clicking.